Can I open this? It's blocked. What's through here? Oh, hello. So this is a back way into the uh, carriage station. But to get through, I'd have to... Uh, well, unblock it somehow, so I'd have to get through a different way, basically. I believe. More Howler dust. I wonder if that would have been a good distraction. Throw some of that around, and maybe all the Howlers freak out and go after it. There's a trap over here. Can I disable it? Must have already been disabled. Yeah, that's probably the trip line right there. There's a lot of Howler dust around here. Does this give you access to anything? Because there's like a thing you can jump on. That doesn't seem like it. There we go. He is the king of destroying rats, apparently. There we go. I'm glad she can disable uh, tripwires. A somewhat frustrating thing in the previous game is that you could find a tripwire and, the, and then your only option was to trip it. <laughs> Even if you hit F on it, you were just tripping the wire and not disarming it. Which felt like a weird way of rewarding somebody for finding a tripwire. Uh, congratulations, you found it. Uh, too bad. <laughs> so there's still one bone charm hanging out up there. It's probably inside the station, so I'll probably wait till the last minute to get that. Then there's one rune down there. I think that's it. Oh, the rune is at the black market shop. So it seems like it's time for that last stop then to the black market before I leave. It's just trying to get spotted. He's turning around. Anyone guarding around here? There's the shop. There might not be guards around here. It's a weird back alley corner. Hello. Thank you. I probably have a decent chunk of money right now. I haven't had a chance to spend it in a while. You, you look like you're doing pretty well. Why not give me a coin? Appreciate it. I'll let you in on a secret. I saw people coming and going recently. Looking for whale oil. Up to something. Someone's up to something looking for whale oil. That's about as vague as, it, as I could get, but okay. You watch yourself. A grand guard aren't too friendly to strangers. Don't think you can go through there. Doesn't doesn't seem like there's much going on over there either. Hello. Thank you. Making the city a better place, one rat corpse at a time. Actually, usually, to be fair, it's usually several rat corpses at a time. That's just a more accurate statement. We need the apartment gate. Ooh. I bet I could just hop up there. So the uh, black market's down there. Let's avoid the black market for now, because I see a place where there might be cool stuff. Hello. Nope, that's not access. Oh, you can see there, there's flies nearby. Howdy. Die. Oh, disappointing. Is this all I got? Not ideal. Yeah! That's satisfying. Y'all deserved it too. Alright. Get out of here! Stop living! There we go. You know what you did deserve this. You. They're just the worst. Uh, open question to the audience. Do any of you know if there's any actual ecological reason why uh, why mosquitoes are anything other than reprehensible? Like, there's a lot of life forms where it's like, oh yeah, those suck, but it's like, like, bee stings suck, but also bees pollinate flowers to an insane degree and are like the backbone of like a lot of our, uh, all of our produce. So that's amazing. So bees are great. Uh, but fuck mosquitoes? 
In fact, if I if I remember correctly, mosquitoes kill more people, have more killed more people in history than anything else because of malaria. Hello. That's satisfying, honestly. I don't even care if this is overdoing it. I'm not going to use grenades against humans. So it's either going to be used against these or clockwork soldiers, which I assume are going to show up at some point because they already showed up in the prologue and we're going to the clockwork place. So I guess explosives might easily work against that stuff. But aside from that, I'm only going to use them against uh, bugs and... bugs and robot people. Ew. Ooh, thank you. This is turning out to be a worthwhile trip. I'm going to be getting bullets. Which is a far more efficient way to deal with all these uh, blood fly things than a whole grenade, perhaps. Am I, did I really miss? How did I manage that? Wow, there's a lot of them in here. I guess the grenade actually might be a pretty good way of dealing with them because uh, the grenade burns them, whereas the bullet does not. The bullet is not so lucky. You. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Was there one of you in here? I saw one of you come in here, I thought. I'll find you, you little bastard. All right, this is actually a gr good grenade spot, I think. Did I use the last one? I did. Ooh, sticky grenade. That works too. Yay! Satisfying. We clear? We clear. You're welcome, Everett, the entire city. I continue to use my worthwhile talents to make your city a better place. And you're all going to hunt down, hunt me down and try to kill me for it. Because you're terrible people. I don't know a good thing when you see it. There wasn't even anything cool in there, or I blew it up. I probably I might have blown it up. <laughs> it's actually a genuine concern that I may have blown up anything that was good in there. Is that where I came from? No, it's not. Because I came in through a window. Let's check up first. There's no up. I'm at the top floor already. Alright. Sure. Or anything in here besides the ability to go down to the bottom floor and open it and open it and be like, I opened it, huh? Oh, this looks like the stuff in there. Impressive how you managed to get there. Be careful, those people in the oil tanks might still be around. Oh, <laughs> he's talking about this place. Oh, I can't open that. So, there may be some sort of freaky operation going around here. I should probably save before I explore. I don't think I've saved a single time this whole mission yet. Report all theft. Oh, there's Tibby and Ora in here. That's that's worthwhile. Just keeping an eye out. Hello there. I'll take that for sure. Documents can't be read. Wow. That sure is a lot of copies of the same uh, art asset over and over again. The same binder of paper. Just repeating. Bit of an oversaturating... Ooh. Oversaturation of a repeating asset. Usually indicative of a location that they didn't really expect you to look at. That safe's broken open. There's no... It's off its hinges. So there's nothing going on in here, but there's clearly people underground. Where I blew, where the pres where presumably all the whale oil is. Is it open? Nope. It just goes to the other room anyway, but I was kind of curious. So not a lot going on in here. Just the whale oil. And nothing back here. Alright. Here comes the fun part. What's going on down here? What are you guys doing? That just opened without hassle. You said whale oil. I got it for you. Not easy to pinch either. No, you screwed up. It won't work without another tank. Not enough blast. You've got to trust me on this. All right, all right. I don't know shit about explosives. Never said I did. I'll go out again later and find some more. Good. You can't rush jobs like this. It takes a smooth hand. You can't piss around here forever, either. 
Eventually some wanker will see us and howlers will catch wind. But I hear you. One more tank. They need one more tank for something. Question is, are there people I can do a side quest for? Or people like that I'd want to help? Or are they random people that uh, are going to try to kill me? Black market weak wall. Burglars are planning to knock down a weak wall leading to the back of the black market shop. They don't have enough whale oil for the blast. Seems like I could help them based on that. But it's hard to say in advance, so... Let's maybe just throw down a save real quick. I think I just did that one recently, so I'll just override it. Just to see, I'm gonna try talking to them, and we'll see if it works. Hi? No? Ah. I'm just... Why, though? Why? Here we go. Here we go. Quiet time. Ow. How'd you cut- how did you- how did you cut me past her? Oh, there we go. And I got myself killed. That's what I get for trying to be show-off and trying to reflect all the attacks like that. Okay, so now we know. They, uh, will not talk to you. I wish it was... I don't know. I don't know if there's a cue that I've missed at some point, but I've never really been able to tell for sure on a before, without trial and error, whether someone's going to be friendly or hostile in both Dishonored games and the DLC campaign. I'm always just kind of confused, just like, is what's going to happen when I show myself? Oh, oh. Well, now I know. So there's the apartment key. So if I get one more whale oil canister, I can then knock them- I can blow up the wall. Oh. Well, that's annoying. I thought I could- I, build, I thought I'm- Oh, you just killed her. Why would you do that? Why would- you? Why would you do that? <laughs> I thought you guys were working together. Yeah. They don't exactly have immersive AI, do they? You th that's what that's that's weird. Like the indie the indie project I am alive. I think it was an indie project a long time ago has an entire mechanic about like holding people up like you point guns at people and they're like, "Oh man, don't shoot." And they like they they back off and like they but they like make a move for you when you look away and like there's all these cool mechanics and and Dishonored, two people could just be talking to each other a second ago. And but the moment you grab one of them, the other one executes them in your arms and you're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do that?" Letter from Bethy. Sarah, things are rotten here in Dunwall. Nothing is the same since the coup. I ain't safe. Uh, it ain't safe for no one, and there's no jobs neither. You get yourself back here and take your kids. Uh, it ain't right you. Uh, you should. It ain't right you should have left them with me for so long. Anyway, you didn't mention how sickly they was, how and poor behaved. Now you're using my sister, and that counts for something. But when the new month comes, oh no, you're you, you are my sister, and that counts for something. But when the new month comes, I'm leaving, and there's n there's no more I can do. I ain't their mother, and they won't listen. I can't afford to feed them no more. There's nothing left uh, for beers or rent by the time they're done eating, and not a penny from you. I'll have to find your fortune in Karnaka, some fortune. Well, that's the end of it, Bethy. Wow. So this person has children, and they abandoned them for some mission. She thinks that she's going to make money or something, but she's not doing anything to support her children. And it seems like they're trying to break into the black market. Yeah, this burglar's dead. Uh, my conscience is clean. I didn't do it. This is her idiot friend that did it. The end of score screen might be all like, you killed someone, and be like, you you failed at your no kill. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't kill that person. <laughs> I literally did not kill that person. I just... I was knocking them out and somebody else was like, I'm going to stab this person I know now and end their life. Ha 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 So you need one more oil tank, huh, to break through? I feel like I don't need to do that though, because I could just... just meet the freaking black market person myself and not be... not break into it like a lunatic. Rats! Got him. Got some whale bone. Maybe not. Maybe nothing else around here. Seems like it. Let's see. Oh, 
that, that, that would explode, apparently. Yeah, that rune is all... Oh, there's a bone charm over there and a bone charm. Where's the other one? There it is. 244. Interesting. I thought I had fewer left than that. They do feel rather missable at times. Let's find our way down here. There we go. Door's open. Hey, you want a place to sleep? I killed all the blood flies. Thanks again. Everybody's got the willies now. Feels like the city might collapse. That's probably not unreasonable. That's pretty much the standard MO of this series, is that cities are on the verge of collapsing. So that was... It's way over there, huh? Was that near the beginning? Huh. We have to look into how to get towards that one. Unless that's just the uh, station, but I don't think it is. Black market shop. No, that's the, that's the station. So where's that? We'll have to figure it out. There's the black market shop. Alright. Nice to meet you, sir. It's been a while. I just saved... Oh, ma'am. I serve with discretion. I just saved you from being broken into, just so you know. I don't know you. I'm new to Karnaka. I need a tool that can rewire a wall of light. The kind the Grand Guard uses. And I'd prefer not to explain myself. I can help you out, but not right now. Don't even linger here. I'm supposed to get a visit from Paolo, someone you don't want to meet. Come back later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Paolo is coming by. Paolo is someone I don't want to meet. What's this? I think he's here. The Silver Spike, Empress Delilah's secret. Today, risking my very life, I bring you probing questions about our new Empress Delilah Caldwin. Or, depending on your political leanings, Delilah Copperspoon. Is it true that her mother was a kitchen maid employed in Dunwall Tower? Even if so, that does not prove she was Empress Emperor Uhorn's Caldwin's daughter. If the Emperor did in fact have a second secret daughter, making her the true heir to the Caldwin throne, why didn't he make the proper arrangements? Outside speculation, what else do we know about the uh, Empress Delilah? What can the Silver Spike tell you? beyond marketplace gossip. We can date her past from time uh, from the time she claims to have grown up in Jessamine's shadow. We know that when Delilah's most regarded paintings were bought and sold. But where was she between these earlier times and this year, when she ascended the throne in Dunwall? Such a long gap away is suspicious, is it not? No artwork sold, not even an address of record, no neighbors stepping forward with juicy details from the long period before she arrived in Karnaka, just three years ago. Therein lies a mystery without worth cracking. Dear readers, her activities in this in the time before she was first seen with our dear Duke Luca Abel. So I'm wondering, uh, did she die and come back to life somehow, or somehow recover from some banishment? I don't know what the Low, I don't know what the non-lethal outcome is exactly of Dowd's campaign, but in my Dowd campaign, I, I, I straight up killed Delilah. As far as the game was concerned, she was dead. Uh, maybe she came back to life, maybe she just never really died in the first place, but I could see how maybe she would be gone for 15 years in a Voldemort sort of way. Alright, so, as soon as I get rid of this, I have to worry about the fact that there's somebody apparently coming in, because I heard the voice actor of the... Uh, black market lady say that uh, he th she thinks that the guy is coming, so I need to be ready to run potentially. Here. Hide yourself. Hide myself. This won't take long. Shit. They'll see you if you try to leave. Find a place to hide and do business afterwards. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm so gonna get spotted. I thought I could maybe jump on top of that thing or go under it or something. Anyone else? No? They're not very perceptive. Good. I need eight new cutters. Short blades. The good stuff. Morally steep. I know what you mean. Do you? The 
because last time you gave me some backwater foundry yeah. that wouldn't hold an edge and snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too, but I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Well, well, maybe 10%? 30, because I like you by next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseers in the Dust District, a witch empress, and these clockwork soldiers protecting the aristocracy. All bad for business. But if I get my way, Karnaka will be a different city a year from now. Uh -huh. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. I did a stealth. <laughs> it was an easy scenario because I was warned about it in advance and had to clear in and out and a, t and a lag time before they would look around. But hey, I left. I got in and out without being seen. And I think. I wonder if I can get a discount at the black, sh uh, the black market by dealing with these people. It's hard to say. She might be happy they're here to be customers, but at the same time, she might be not psyched about the idea of how they treat her. So maybe they're only dealing with her because they have to. What the fuck? Oh, they're howlers. The howlers literally howl. Yeah, that's not crazy. You're, you're normal. Don't worry about it. Gotcha. Sometimes I wish I had the Grand Inventor. Welcome. You look like someone with refined tastes. Can we not even ask about that person? Alright. It's four upgrades available. Hardened Bolt. Increases greater damage. Uh, instant Sleep Dart. Put bolt that puts enemy to sleep instantly. Uh, incendiary Bolt. Immolates the enemy. <laughs> Stinging Bolt. Causes the enemy to flee and forget. Oh. They freak out, run away, and then forget what was happening. That's strange. Go for gear upgrades. So for gear, we have grenades, stun mine. I sleep in the shop most nights. Bunch of these options. Ooh. The key to unlock the ticket booth. Someone took the ticket booth key off a drunk guardsman assigned to protect the carriage station. With the key, unlock the ticket booth and gain access to the money inside if you can avoid the grand guard. Costs 250, but hopefully would reward you with more than that. A, pleasure to do business. a rune for 400. Obviously. Rewire tool. We did want one of those. A deal well made. And then you can stock up on these if you want to. And other things I don't necessarily need right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and back out. Take a look at upgrades. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Alright, so a lot of crossbow bolts, including these alternate bolt types. The stinging one sounds like good news. Same thing with the instant sleep dart. 400 for that. What are the other options around here? Gun upgrades, I'm not really in a hurry there. Gear and outfit. Refined lens optics. Greater level of magnification for relatively cheap. Spring razor storage, bolt capacity. Bolt capacity might be a good idea. Unless it... Is that different from normal... Is it old bolts or just attack bolts? Bone charm slots. Let's go ahead and just unlock these already. I'm going to use them sooner or later, and I already have a bunch of bone charms. Might as well just grab that while we can. Folding blade. Nope. Grenade. Here's the stun mine. You can make it a stun an additional time, which is good. I'll go for an additional stun. And then you can have it stun even more times. Yeah, let's just max out the stun mine. Go back to our gear. Bolt capacity is a good idea. Help avoid us wasting all these pickups we're getting. Lens optics, it's cheap. And I like having a zoom. We have a lot of money stored up, damn. Uh, stinging bolt's not particularly expensive. 
instant sleep dart is kind of expensive. And I surprisingly still have some money left. So we can go for aim, we can go for range, or I can even stock up on some of these types of bolts. Which is probably the next, which is probably the smart thing to do here. No, she does. Oh, there they are. Stinging bolt causes an enemy to flee and forget. Uh, fifty. I'll buy a couple. I don't know if you'll be able to buy them outside of. I don't know if you'll be able to find them in the wild or not. I, it'd be good if they were added to the pool of random things you can find. Sleep darts cost thirty. Could use a few of those because I don't really have them. Damn, I had a lot of money stored Let's up. Okay. See. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Where would I go next? Let's do accuracy. There we go. This has been an eventful ordeal, hasn't Keep it? To the shadows. That's my advice. Oh yeah. So we can rewire the wall of light if we want to, but ultimately we need to get inside the carriage station. Someone was trying to break the wall. No reason to do that unless I just want to ruin this person I've already done work with. I guess I potentially could have robbed them or something, but I don't. Not really in the mood for. Come in, my friend. Trying to rob Always this kind of place. They might have some stuff back. Oh, yeah, there's like some bars back there. So technically, Welcome there's back. something you could get from robbing them. Oh, I left, uh. I left some copper wire in that previous room I could have used for money. My bad. But otherwise, I believe it's time to go. I'm kind of surprised she didn't get dialogue. Uh, I guess that was just a little bit of flavor for the environment and maybe even setting up a character that might uh, establish themselves later. Because I'm, I'm a little surprised that uh, we see them uh, pushing her around and we don't get a chance to... There it is. Follow up on the situation and maybe even get a discount for it or anything like that. Uh, when, I, when I came back to her, there was just no dialogue acknowledging what just happened. So it was mostly just sort of an impromptu stealth section. Which is equally fine. Alrighty then.